I hope this goes right, y'all. Because this video is going to be all bad. I, I can already feel it. Because I, I'm in that kind of, I'm in that kind of mood. Okay? Let me tell you something. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the crazy house. That's just simple as that. Okay? Now, let me say something to you. I respect all human beings. I love humanity. I want to get this out the way. And I am not racist in any shape, form, or fashion. I have no power to inflict or no power to execute any authority over anybody's life. And neither does anybody in my neighborhood. So, but there are some that live amongst us that have drank the Kool-Aid from Reverend Jim Jones, and they wreak havoc in our communities, okay? Because they just a byproduct of a larger chasm here, okay? Now, I wish this was a video I could have T.S. Madison. Um, I wish I could talk with someone from the LGBT community community that is trans okay uh, because from what I know and from what I've been up seen and what I've been around I have never in my life seen and I'm in the show business I've never seen this kind of behavior that's acceptable and now you want to blame it on see you already had this stigma that gay people was freaks and nuts and you know, just over sexualized and this was always um a how you say a side note or one of the stereotypes that they said about gay people. Just like, you know, black people and the certain stereotypes that go along with that, you know. So we always got our tropes. But this right here this right here, somebody got to talk about it. Now, anybody knows that, that ever worked in any kind of military or had any kind of uh, job where the flag reigns, you know that that flag can't touch the ground. You know that the American flag, I'm talking about the American flag, it, can, it has to rise, it has to be above any other flag that you have out there. Okay? Because this is America. For some reason, that didn't happen this past weekend at the Pride Fest in Washington, D.C. or at the White House. Okay, and that's what I want to talk about. Because whenever you let groups hijack stuff, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, don't let them, because once they do, it's all over. It's a joke, and it's nuts. Because I want to know who's behind this whole LGBT trans movement. You know, I want to know who's behind the madness. I really do. I really do. And I know a lot of people are going to get mad. But I want to take a moment for the redacted uh, channel's observation of what happened. And I'm going to get on some time right now because I can't even explain it the way they did. I wasn't there. So hopefully you get what I mean when I say this is madness. Okay, and it's 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 gone. It's gotten out of hand. Okay, it's gotten out of hand. So listen to this. Well, the White House has banned a transgender person after they went topless on the White House lawn at a pride event over the weekend. Uh, the White House says that this person cannot come to any future events and that what they did was inappropriate and disrespectful. Uh, this is interesting. We did not think the White House would speak out about this, but it was. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you some of it. We're going to blur it. Um, definitely not appropriate uh, for being in the White House. 
Um, but I wonder, does this mean that maybe now we can talk about Ezra Miller's behavior? Now that we can mm. talk about transgender people in a critical way and treat them like human beings. I hope so. Instead of only activists. Uh, we're going to get to that. So here's the story. The Biden administration um, is taking flack for a big gay pride event over the weekend. Now here's how the White House was decorated for the event. And here is a still image of some transgender influencers partying at that event. The person in the middle that is the only one that was punished, as far as we know, it's biological male that goes by the name of Rose Montoya. So first about the flag. This is something that means a lot of things to a lot of people, obviously, the American flag. It's a symbol of whatever it is that you value about America. This is why we have a law about how you are allowed to display that flag. It's called the U.S. National Flag Code. It became law in 1942. Here's from the Department of Defense website. It says that when displaying the U.S. flag with other flags, the U.S. flag comes first and is centered in the middle of a flag on display. In addition, the U.S. flag must be placed higher than other flags unless other national flags are present. In that case, the U.S. flag will be the same height. Well, obviously, this is a violation of that rule. Take a look again at how the U.S. flag, again, it's not supposed to flank other flags, and it must be flown higher. Yeah, not the most prominent one above the podium is now this flag instead of the United States flag. Yes. And by the way, on Veterans Day, you'll notice on, on Veterans Day, um, there were no flags. Um, mm -hmm. Think about that for a second. So Pride Day, this whole big Pride event, they can hang up all these flags and put up a gay Pride flag, but on Veterans Day, nothing. And you notice... Now... Does, does that sound right to y'all? Is there, does that seem to be a hidden hand pushing forward this madness um, and even trying to push it on Africans in, um, in, in African nations that are making them so repulsed by the brutality and the bullying now that they done got to the point where they want to just behead anybody um, and execute them if they're uh, homosexual? Okay, this is what happens when you try to enforce and push your stuff off on other people. And that's regardless of who you are. So if you a person that's gay, or whether you're a man or a woman, and you out here trying to molest people and bring them in, take them someplace where they ain't trying, you're a problem. You're a problem. Whether you gay or straight, if you a man and you like a woman and she doesn't give you the time of day, that don't give you the right to molest her. What the fuck? I mean, what the hell is going wrong with us? Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because these people are out here topless, shaking their boobs on the White House lawn. <laughs> The, if we could just leave the image up a little bit longer, they used the LGB flag that has been co-opted by gender ideology. It used to be just a rainbow, but in the last few years, this uh, baby shower colors of pink and blue to symbolize so gender ideology are sort of invading the flag. It does. It looks like it's, well, the chevron there at the top, right? Right in the middle yes. is that chevron that's now... It's like sticking in there. It's the trans chevron. It, it's, I mean, I, I do think it's an accurate description of how, yeah, trans rights have sort of usurped mm -hmm. actual gay rights because they are conflicting things. Uh, we've talked about this many times. But, yes. all, but also at the heart of it, just think about the rainbow has been co-opted. Like I see a big movement online. They're saying, take back the rainbow. Take it's back the rainbow as well. Anymore. It's about trans. I don't know. I mean, a rainbow is a rainbow. What like, the hell you know, is going on? The prism of light. For, uh, what the? Light hitting a prism of water vapor. Not about lesbians. After, you know, a rainstorm, the way it hits, right? Not I don't about. Know, like science behind it. Uh, four year old. Yeah, refraction. 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 Light. Yes, the refraction <laughs> of light. Yeah, the, they might be giant song. Roy G. Bib is a colorful. It is about trans. Everything is about trans. That's a serious, serious issue. And something is seriously, seriously crazy with this. The fact that somebody will be on the White House lawn and don't have no more decorum about they self, 
than to go up there into the White House and open up their shirts and blouses and take them off and go topless and do the, sh the, the, the jiggy with it, with their body parts. America has sunk down to a new low. This is a new low. And I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know how many of y'all was there from D.C. I know a lot of y'all mad at me about this. But I want to know what y'all think. Because that came from Redacted News. And uh, they do pretty good commentary. Uh, I, I, I just think, um, I just think that this is getting to it a, a real disgraceful point in our lives. What do y'all got to say? I, what do y'all got to say about this? Please. Let, let me know what you think because I can't believe it that everybody is okay with this but me and I'm the only one making us think about it. Let it go, Khadija. Everything is fine. This is insanity being legitimized and rationalized right in front of our very eyes, even if you down for the transgender. What the hell? Why you got to go out in front of the White House and take your tops off and shake, shake, shake your boobs? I'm done. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. Please, I'll see you in the next video.